All right, um, in this case, we're given an 86 foot pipe. It could just as well be an 86 foot wire, um, an 86 foot really anything. Um, if there's a way to draw this, um, it's a good idea to. So I'm going to say here's my 86 foot pipe. And to indicate that it's 86 feet, I'll say it equals. 86 okay uh, they tell us it's cut into three pieces so let's go ahead and cut it into three pieces all right and don't worry about the proportions or the sizes all right you don't have to figure that out at this point um, and let's go ahead and label these this is the first the second and the third all right, so here's our three pieces all together. It's 86 feet. Um, and this might be a little bit harder to sort of grasp as you read these problems, but um, they don't really tell us anything about the first piece, but they say the second is 10 foot longer than the first. The third is four foot longer than seven times the first. Uh, the point here is that each is described in terms of the first. So we need a variable to describe the length of the first piece. I'm just going to pick x. And somehow an x is going to show up in here. And x is going to show up in here. All right. We'll get some more numbers in here, but that's a start. Then they tell us, let me see, uh, we'll focus on the second piece. The second piece is 10 foot longer than the first. So if the first one is x, the second one is x plus 10. Okay. Then we'll uh, turn our attention to the third piece. The third piece is 4 foot longer. That's going to be a plus 4. Then 7 times the first. Well, if the first one is described as x, 7 times the first would be 7x. All right. So now we've described each piece. And if we take the first piece, which is x, add that to the second piece, which is x plus 10, and then add that to the third piece, which is 7x plus 4. If we add these three pieces up, we're supposed to get 86. Now we have our algebraic equation. We go ahead and solve for x, and then we'll take the answer we get and plug it back in wherever there's an x. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. All right, and I don't, I don't think we need all this writing up top right now, okay? So I'm going to focus on the algebra, find the length of each piece. Uh, keep in mind, there is a 1 in front of each x. Oh, well, this x has a 7 in front, so we certainly aren't going to put anything else there. And now we will combine like terms, okay? Um, that's 2x plus 7x gives us 9x. All right, we've used up our x's here. And then we also have uh, 10 and 4. So 10 plus 4 gives us 14. So that's plus 14. Still equals 86. We're solving for x. So let's get rid of the 14. And now we have 9x is 72. Got to get rid of that 9. And now we know 9 goes into 9 once. We know that x is equal to 8. Um, we're actually in feet, but I'm not going to 
worry about my units right now. All right, so you take this value, x equals 8, you plug it in wherever there's an x. All right, so the 8's going to go in here. The 8 is going to go in here. And the 8 is going to go in here. you got to plug it in for each piece and find out its length. Well, the first piece, you don't have to do any calculations. The first is 8 feet. So that's the length of our first piece. The second one, 8 plus 10. So this is 18 feet. That's our second piece. All right. The third one, you have to do a little more calculation. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 4. So that gives us 60 feet. All right, so when we plug it in, the third piece is 60 feet. And if you add these three together, 60, 18, and 8, you will get 86. So we found out the length of each piece.